Do you have to sit all day, and at the end of the day, do you have back pain? Do you know how to fix that, or even what's going on? Hi, welcome back to Mobility Agility Chiropractic Performance. So what happens when we sit for a long period of time? Our glute muscles become weak, and our hip flexors become tight. We then become sedentary. This can lead to weight gain, which then leads to heart disease, diabetes. Additionally, research is even linking cancer to sitting for too long a periods of time. This might be making you feel anxious, but please don't fret. We're about to go through five steps on how to sit healthy. The first step is using proper ergonomics. Ergonomics is the study of people in their work environment. Making sure your desk, chair, computer, and keyboard are all at the correct height and position is the first step to sitting healthy. Having a desk that is adjustable can make things easier by making you more productive without having to sit as long. A micro break is a set of movement and stretches. They are designed to break the cycle of stress on your body that occurs during prolonged sitting at your workstation. These breaks should be performed every 60 minutes with the goal of preventing pain and injury. In the description of this video below is a link to a PDF file of the stretches and a video to follow along with while you're at work. The key to injury prevention for the spine is to avoid improper positioning and movements that will cause undue stress. The power zone is the zone that will optimize your lifting and strength and reduce your injury risk. The more you can work in this power zone, the less fatigue will be on your body. Abdominal bracing is when all your core muscles work together to create a safety belt that protects and stabilizes your spine and discs. Similar to how weightlifters wear a weight belt to protect themselves, appropriately training your core can stabilize your spine just as well. The next step is proper body positioning. The first thing you can do is think sternum up, whether you're sitting or standing, to help achieve a more ideal posture. So what is perfect posture? And is there such a thing? In all honesty, correcting your posture to the most anatomically ideal position doesn't necessarily mean you won't have any pain or dysfunction. What it does do is help you utilize your body in the most biomechanically efficient way. The final step with dealing with back pain after sitting is corrective exercises. Now this is for after you already have pain. We're gonna be making a completely separate video to go through all the corrective exercises that you can utilize. I hope this video has provided you with some tools that you can utilize both at work and at home. Because as always, our goal is to get you better faster and keep you better longer. To keep up to date with future content, please click subscribe. Additional information is always found in the description of this video.